Hey everybody, what is going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another video. When I woke up this morning and I saw the weather outside, I knew I had to go fishing. Call it intuition, call it a gut feeling, but I think today is going to be a good day for a number of reasons. First of all, it has been scorching hot the last couple of days, and we finally have a day with overcast skies. We had a lot of rain last night, and the temperature has dropped significantly. The lake I'm going to be fishing today is a lake that I grew up right beside, so I know this lake like the back of my hand. I know how the fish move, and I know for a fact that after a storm, the fish in this lake get active. Not only that, but my brother was out carping the other day and he said he saw a bunch of bait fish schooled up back in the pockets. He could see fish actively feeding on them. Couple that with the weather we're having now and I think today is going to be a good day. That being said, let's go fishing and see what happens. Alright guys, so I'm currently on my way to the lake and as you can see by the color of the sky, there is a huge storm front moving in. Uh, Hopefully, it doesn't dump on us at the lake. Uh, like I said, this front will definitely get the fish active, but if it's pouring down rain, I can't really have camera gear out in the weather. So I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that this storm blows over. All right, so the first stop of the day is obviously gonna be the culvert. As you can see, there's a lot of current moving through here, and that gets me excited because I know when there's a lot of current moving through here, uh, a lot of times shad will stack up in here. I'm just starting off the day throwing a KVD 1.5. It's my go-to bait for this lake. It imitates the shad really well. Though the water is a little bit stained, you might have to throw a spinner bait too. We'll see once. Got him. Boom, right there. Instant. First fish of the day. Little largemouth. I tell you, anytime you can find an area like this where there is current that is actively flowing into a lake or a pond, it can be a dynamite spot, especially during the summertime. Believe it or not, this place gets hammered all the time, especially on the weekends. A lot of times there's people in here fishing for catfish or bluegill, but despite all the pressure that this place gets, I can still do pretty good here as long as I watch the weather and when you get uh, ideal conditions like this, the fish are chomping. One of the things I like to do when I'm fishing a productive spot like this is fish a couple different techniques. So we started off throwing the square bill, covered the area really well, got one fish right away. Now I'm going to throw something a little bit slower, something a little bit more finesse. This is a Strike King swim jig with one of my swim baits on as a trailer. And this swim jig combo is just gonna be a little bit more slower, a little bit more finesse, and it might get some more of those fickle fish to bite. Whoa, there's fish schooling right here in this pipe. Okay. I just saw fish splashing right at the edge of this pipe. It sounds like they're actually going up the pipe. Which is interesting. I'm gonna do something a little bit weird. I'm gonna cast straight up that pipe. Ah, if I don't fall over first. I'll put a bait, let's see if I can do this. Oh yeah. Oh, I got a fish. No way. Oh my goodness. I got a fish. A bass. Right out of that pipe. Okay, that is, that is, that is nuts. That is nuts. That's a good one too. Look at that guy. Absolutely thunked that swim jig. That fish came right out of a pipe. Okay, that was, that was sick. You have to admit, that was cool. Before I caught that fish out of the pipe, I was hearing some splashing noises coming from up inside the culvert and I thought, that sounds like a fish feeding. I know for a fact that sometimes carp will run up that culvert. Uh, but I never really thought bass would until I saw a splash right at the mouth of it and I thought that's weird. So I threw my bait up there first cast. Smoked a nice fish out of there. That was sweet. I'm gonna give this spot a bit of a rest. We'll come back and fish it later but let's go fish something else for now. So I got the swim jig on and this will allow me to fish a little more slowly. There's a little pool right here. It looks pretty shallow but I'll throw a jig in here just to make sure there's nothing in here. Oh my goodness, oh there's a bass. There's a bass in here, no way. Dude, there's a bass. I just had a hit, literally. He's in here. That bass literally just hit my bait. I 
I got, oh, oh, shoot. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. It's a good fish. He keeps hitting my bait. All right, so there's obviously a bass in here somewhere. He hit my swim jig twice and then he stopped biting after that. So I switched up to a little curly tail grub, something that's a little bit more finesse, a little bit more subtle. Well, either he left or he's just not biting anymore. It's possible he could have just swam out of here. That's frustrating, man. That was a good fish. Oh. Nice. That was that was that was awesome. Oh, really? Uh, now, now he's for sure not going to be biting anytime soon. Uh, oh my goodness! Uh, got the crankbait back on. Fishing some riprap here by the culvert. Got a little bit of wind. Got another storm phone actually blowing in. Whoa, that fish was, it was a bass chasing that. Yeah, I think. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. That was a massive fish for crying out loud. What the Sam was that? That thing was a donkey. All right, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Get another bait on. Please hit it again, please hit it again, come on. Hit it again, please. Ah, there's nothing really I could do about it. She just came off. She came up real quick and that was it. It's the worst feeling in the world, man, to lose a big fish. Whew. I'm gonna have dreams about that one, I'll tell you that. Are down in there too. Barely hooked. Look at that. Tiny little bait. That's a chunk of a fish right there. Beautiful bass. Absolutely smoked that thing. I kept getting hits down in there and I wasn't sure what it was. Turns out it was one of these beauties. Alright. Hey brother. That was cool. Let's do that again. Got one in the pipe again. In the pipe. Nice. Another nice bass, guys, out of the pipe. Who would have thunk it? See you, buddy. And that bait barely hit the water and he was on it. See if there's another one back in there. Yep, another one. No way. Out of the same pipe. Okay, this is hilarious. Not a very big one. <laughs> Definitely a bass. Oh, this is crazy. I'm enjoying this. Another beautiful bass out of the culvert pipe. That is crazy cool. I thought the one this morning was kind of a fluke, but apparently not. What a way to end the day. Two more bass out of that culvert. Super fun. Hey guys, Brendan Milley here from the future. I'm actually currently editing the video you are watching right now. I didn't shoot a proper outro, so I figured I'd do one on my phone to finish this video up. So as you guys saw, I had a great time catching those fish out of a culvert pipe. That was definitely a new experience for me, and I'm super glad I had the cameras rolling to capture it. By the way guys, we hit over 150,000 subscribers on my channel. That's fantastic. Thank you to all the new people that have subscribed. 
Uh, the last couple of videos I made have been doing very, very well, and thank you to all the people that have that have watched those videos, that have shared, that have left a comment. It is really appreciated. By the way, guys, if you want to support the channel, there are some links down in the description to my line of swim baits, some merch, and some Amazon affiliate links. If you want to support the channel, be sure to check those links out. It is very appreciated. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.